I see so many golfers struggling to hit fairways, but can a change of equipment actually help you find the short stuff a little bit more often? Hey everybody, Pete Finch here, and I have a jumbo, massive, ridiculously big grip on my driver. And I'm excited to have you here for this video. I think this is a genuine way where a change of equipment can actually change your fortunes on the golf course. Now the grip I'm using for this demonstration is a Jumbo Max by Dominant Golf. This is the actual grip that Bryson uses on his driver. There are other big grips available, but seems this is the biggest one I know about and it's used by a great player. I thought I'd use this one. Before you go out and stick a massive grip on your driver, let's try and figure out why this type of construction can actually change technique. It's all to do with the positioning of the hands on this grip. With a normal grip, if you want to call it that, you're going to be able to place it a little bit more through the fingers. Now with a grip like this, it will automatically move a little bit more into the palm of the hand. Now moving a massive grip like this more into the palm is a movement inhibitor of the hands. It feels like you can keep that club face a little bit more stable coming through impact. And what I mean by that is coming through, you're a little bit less likely to flip those hands. Now there has been some research conducted on this. It isn't overly conclusive, but from my experience using this grip and from seeing other people use this grip, the feeling is definitely there about being able to hold the angle of the club face and the left wrist a lot easier. If you can hold the club face a little bit more neutral through the swing, that means you're gonna be able to better control impact. With the thick grip, run it through the fingers as normal, but then just let it rest in your palm a little bit more. Try and get that left thumb on top of the grip and notice how that left hand automatically goes into a bit of a weaker position. And then set up down your target line. I'm going to a white flag in the center of the range here at the L's Club. And I'm gonna move the shoulders and arms back just a halfway, try and get that leading edge of the driver to match my spine angle. I'm gonna mimic the impact turning through and then I'm going to turn, just try and hold the angle between the left wrist and the club face. And again, try and get that leading edge of the driver to match my spine angle. So a couple of those practice swings and then just try and rehearse an actual shot. Turn it back, hold the angle, turn it through. Now for me, I love this feeling because it allows me to hold that face a little bit more open and hit a fade. Oh. I think I found my uh, 210 yard fairway finder there. And then after a few of those swings, try and get the feeling and actually move it onto a full technique. That slightly different grip, hold, hold with the turn. And give it a launch. Oof. So I've been practicing with this grip a while. I've noticed that I actually feel I've lost a little bit of distance. Maybe I'm just trying to hold on, control it a little bit more, but my accuracy has definitely improved. If you are watching on your phone or your laptop, make sure you grab a screenshot now. This is everything that we've discussed in the video. And if you do need more help with your driving, click on this video here. It'll give you that little bit more information about driving and how to improve. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.